Hey little bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rose. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Celestial Thunder palette from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the smaller version of the Celestial Storm palette. So it just has eight shadows in this pan. So I actually just purchased this from BoxyCharm. I had some points. Um, so I was able to grab this bad boy since it was on sale. And it's such a beautiful palette that I had to go ahead and create a look and let you guys know my thoughts on this. Um, I don't really hear many people talk about Dominique's Cosmetics. I've tried um, her shadows before. I have the Berries and Cream palette. So yeah, I thought why not talk about a brand that um, a lot of people aren't really talking about and shed some light on how great the products or how not great the products are. So, <laughs> before we get into this video, please make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it. And also comment down below, let me know if you have this palette or the actual big one. And let me know your thoughts on it as well. Or, if you haven't tried the product, I mean, you haven't tried the brand. And maybe after this review, you are interested in trying the brand. Then, yeah, let's chat down below. And also, make sure you guys are following me on all of my other social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. I am on TikTok. Um, I just got back into Snapchat, so I'm on Snapchat. But, yeah, without further ado, let's get to this review. Alright you guys, so my face is done. I decided to pretty much do my face, you know, prep the eyelids and do my brows off camera so that we can really just focus on the palette. So this palette is from Dominique's Cosmetics. Um, Dominique is Christian Dominique on here on YouTube. She is a YouTuber and she did come out with her own brand. Um, if you heard of the Latte palette, that's one of the first palettes that she's actually dropped. And so many people love it. I have the Berries and Creams collection. That's my first collection that I've ever purchased from the brand. I actually really, really do enjoy that palette as well as the lip products that came with that collection. Now, I haven't tried any of the other palettes, so I don't know if the formula is consistent. Um, I do remember in the Berries and Cream palette, the shadows did blend really really nicely there wasn't any patchiness there was a little kickback in the pan but nothing crazy um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and dive into this so i prepped my eye with the draw cosmetics clean canvas eye base definitely grab this if you haven't already this has i'm, I'm just gonna say it but it's replaced my p louise base i actually haven't reached for my p louise base in a few weeks now <laughs> Um, so, yeah, sorry Paige, but this one's a lot more creamier and a lot less drying, I would say. And I do have a coupon code with them, so if you guys want to go ahead and use that, you can. It's Rose V M U A, and it saves you 30% off on Jar Cosmetics products. But well, I am in love with this one. This shade here is what really drew me to the palette. So I'm actually going to dip into this. This one is called the Mystic Ice. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just take a small detailed shader brush. And I'm going to just create the base, like, you know, the shape that I want with this. And I think I may just have this color all over the lid. Who knows? So I'm going to take my Just Up 237 Detail Shader Brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat the brush. Get a really coat on it. So just so you guys see here, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a little bit of kickback in the pan. Nothing crazy. That actually doesn't bother me. And the brush is really, like, covered. Like, it's definitely pigment there. So I just tapped it once just so I don't get any fallout. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just create the shape that I want. So definitely pigmented. Definitely would say it is 
super pigmented. And I don't see like any patchiness or weird like separation. I know there are times when using colored shadows, when you start to like pack on the product, it gives like a weird separation. And it just, it's not pretty. Let me close my eye because I have wrinkly eyelids stained. Just leave it just like this boom just like that and then I'm gonna go in with my morphe m506 brush and I'm just going to start to lightly blend the edges of the shadow okay so I'm looking at it right now and I don't know if you guys can tell but right here in this area as I started to blend, the color just started to kind of whisk away. So, yeah, it's definitely like moving. Yeah, it's really like just taking away the color. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it literally just like took out the color in the crease. It's not, you know pigmented like it was before which is a bummer because it's such a pretty shade it's just really not sticking as much as I would like in that lid area so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply again so I don't know if you guys can see the difference uh, how the shadow looks when you just pack it on it just does not stay like yes I'm gonna take this pink shade here which is called Lucid Jane I'm actually gonna pack her onto the mobile lid bam she is pigmented and she doesn't have a lot of kickback in the pan and I'm just going to blend her in with the blue. Okay, so she's not as bright. Uh, for me, she's not as bright as she looks in the pan. I'm going to try to melt these two together. Do like a nice ombre. And then again, I'm just gonna whisk this just like that. Oh, that's cute cotton candy moment. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this gray shade here, it's called Zero Gravity. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna blend it in with the um the blue and I want to do this so I can get more of a smokier effect and also it'll help with like a transition and also deepening of that crease area I'm gonna try my hardest not to like touch that blue either And I'm not bringing this all the way up because I don't want it to be like a super intense look. I kind of really just want to keep this right here. And ooh, that is super pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I like the way that came out. This is super pretty. So looking at the skin, definitely minimal, minimal, like very minimal fallout. 
like a very rare and very minimal oh my gosh now my under eyes look hella crazy whatever it's cool <laughs> okay so yeah i love the way this looks okay so you know what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna take that blue in that gray right underneath the lower lash line as well because i really really like the way those two match together super pretty and i'm just using the same brushes just rubbing like cleaning them off a bit and then just I'm gonna go in with Eternal Light. This looks freaking gorgeous. This shade. Like, sh wow. She looks so wet. Okay. I'm gonna put her right in the inner corner. Okay, so with the brush. Really got to pack her on just to get any type of like punch, but she's definitely there. That's super pretty. You know what? Let's put her in the brow bone as well. And just like fade her. This is a really nice like, it definitely has some glitter in it. It's just not like super crazy and heavy and chunky. But this is super cute. I love the way this came out. I feel like that gray definitely helped. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to be taking my Dominique Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Babe. This shade is super pretty. The look is done. I really love the way the look came out. I... Okay, so let's talk about the palette. This little guy. Okay, so the pink I really did like. It didn't get any patchiness. I was kind of expecting for it to get, you know, some type of patchiness, um, especially when I was like blending the, the blue with the pink. I was expecting it to get a little patchy, like how the blue got, but it didn't. The blue was the only one that kind of gave me trouble of, and even the kind of like looking at it, it looks really like faded. It doesn't look, um, yeah, I can, I can see where the color actually is like just kind of fading away which is which is really like mainly in the crease area um so the blue uh, i will probably use like as a pop of color underneath the eye um when i use this palette again love the, the way this gray looks i feel like the gray kind of saved the blue a bit because it helped bring that dimension in and then helped it really smoke it out um, so definitely love, 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 love this gray. The Black Matter, I would definitely have to play with this one a lot more just because it kind of just blended away, but it is such a beautiful shade. It's kind of like a gray, a grayish black with some like purple reflex in it. And as you guys can see, it has like a little shift of purple. Um, Eternal Light. As you guys see, freaking blinding color. It's such a, such a, such a beautiful shade. The blue is the only, like, problem color in this palette, to be honest. Which I'm a little disappointed because this is such a, such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue. Like, it's so pretty, but it just, it just doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. Especially when being blended, it doesn't stick. So... Would I use the palette again? Yes, of course, I'll use the palette again. Just because I had issue with one color doesn't mean that the entire palette is no good. Um, I would love to see more people talk about this brand. 
Um, I don't really see anyone really talk about Dominique Cosmetics. Um, I feel like, you know, when she does come out with new products, like she just came out with, what, the Latte 2 palette, um, which I definitely need to get my hands on that one. Definitely. Um, but I feel like people spoke about it, like, for a little bit, a couple days, and then it was just like, okay, I didn't see any reviews on it, none of that. Um, I feel like, you know, as an indie brand, like, I feel like we need to support more indie brands, you know, like, we definitely need to support more indie brands, and she... I have a, another palette which I actually really do love. So I feel like she does definitely make great products. I just feel like people need to talk about it more. Like, we need to start supporting these indie brands and stop giving all the hype to these big brands who really don't need much hype on their products anymore. Just saying, just saying. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and a little tutorial. I really like the way the look came out. Like, I feel like the way that pink is just kind of popping is so cute. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. Share it and follow me on all of my other socials. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.